<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to lunch break. I'm Meredith, and I'm here with Jaron. Hello. And Colt. Hey. <laughs> and <laughs> sup. Sorry, I could do what I do on Sunday. Do we need to do that again? Take two. Oh gosh. I always know it's you. My favorite is my. For Sunday back in the 11. And you She's, sat in the audience. I did. Oh, I sat so in the congregation and it got like dead quiet. And someone would come up. I went, Brian! I know. <laughs> and she went to like go say something. She's uh, like, I uh, could not yeah. just talk her, man. Yeah. Just... <laughs> but I knew. Yeah. Oh, I knew who it was. Uh, anyway. Uh, We're off to a great start. <laughs> it's, it's because Jay's not here. Yeah, I'll turn the wheels to come off. Uh -huh. yep. <laughs> like, that's it. Yeah, he is doing school this week because he's a glutton for punishment, uh -huh. apparently. Um, and so he's at Lee University. No, Johnson. not Lee, sorry. Johnson. Johnson. You know, Lee, well, I was at Lee this summer for, for camp, so that's what's <laughs> in my brain. He's at Johnson working on schoolwork, but he'll be back with us this weekend. Um, but, you know, we're doing something new anyway this, this whole month. We're doing something new and different. Tell us a little bit about that, Jerry. What, what are we doing this month? Yeah, so, I mean, the, the short version is we're doing kind of a missions-focused month. We're, we're focusing on, um, you know, the Great Commission and, you know, Judea, you know, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the ends of the earth. And so that, that balance of, you know, we're, we're wanting to spread the gospel and reach more people for Christ um, everywhere. And so often, we talked this last weekend about how, how often that our minds go to, you know, abroad. Like, we, we think of other countries and, you know, the kind of, classic missionary, and we're going to talk about that later this month, mm -hmm. um, but we started off talking about Jerusalem, and just kind of like in our own hometown, in our own backyard, um, and, and for us, that's, you know, Ackworth and Kennesaw and Barthel County, and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and so, um, yeah, this last week was, it was really cool, it was way different, yeah, like we, we, yeah. we kind of shook up the, the formula a little bit, but it was really cool. Um, yeah, that was great. Yeah, we did, so if you weren't here, you missed it, we did a QA. and a um, with a couple of the, the local missions that we support and partner with, and one is our, you know, kind of our very own uh, food bank here in Northwest, um, and also Bread Coffee House, the campus ministry uh, at KSU. We had Mandy Cook here, and so we had them come up on stage. We did a Q and A with them, and it was just, it was so cool to hear mm -hmm. kind of stories of what what God's doing and how God's using them and their ministries, and um, inspiring as well. Just yeah. like just go get out there and do it, and I, I think that was kind of the big takeaway. Is, yeah is hey we're all like go find your ministry like we're all supposed to be serving in, in, in you know in some way in various ways and just kind of go find our our mission fields right here at home well and that's what i love too is like getting outside of that perspective like ministry only happens in the four or however many walls and this took there's, right. there's a lot of long for uh but mm -hmm. it's just construction you know? <laughs> um but you know getting outside of just like that stereotypical like oh i serve in the church that's ministry like no 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 mm -hmm. as you go make mm -hmm. disciples yeah, right. and, I, and I think, that, you know, it's, it's easy because we like categories for things. So we oh, think of sure. ministry as either a, a vocation, like you're a, you, you do it full time, it's a paid position or exactly. whatever. That's, you know, that's often how we talk and we're, mm -hmm. we're on staff at a church. So, yeah, yeah that's us. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but that's not, that's not the only thing it's limited to. It's, it's, right. it's everywhere. It's whether it's a formal role or not. It's how, yes. how are you serving your, your community, the people that are around you. Well, even the Apostle Paul, he was a tent maker <laughs> and he, like, mm -hmm. yeah. rebuked. Yeah churches <laughs> and wrote like right. half the New Testament. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and I think we tend to think in extremes sometimes. Either, you know, you, you're either serving in your church or you're out in the mission field in Haiti. You know, it's kind of one <laughs> yeah. or the other yeah. without thinking, oh, but also it's just right, it's right mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. in exactly. our community. And our church supports these, yeah. these ministries. So when you give your money to church, when you tithe, Northwest uses that money here yeah. in our community as yeah, well, yeah. and it's good to see, mm -hmm. hey, this is what we're supporting right. as well. Yeah, I mean, we love the, the giving that goes straight to, to yeah. you know, food bank and other right. ministries. That's great, and I'm never going to like dissuade anybody right. from doing that, um, but it's also, yeah, it's important to know. I mean, I, I'm I'm the budget guy, so I put that together. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we earmark um, a portion of the kind of the general fund of what, what comes mm -hmm. in the offering on week in, week out, you know, a, a portion that goes to the food bank, a portion that goes to local missions like bread and, and yeah. as well as our you know global mission missionaries that of we course, support as well that's just yeah. that's kind of how we operate so so what you're saying yeah. is if someone wants to give to like the worship ministry <laughs> they can just get my venmo yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. No. no 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 shut it down oh, no, no. Okay. <laughs> ah. 
real clear about that. That's why you always have issues with my budget. <laughs> That's why you don't have one. Okay. <laughs> However, if they give on the app, would you have an app? They can earmark it for they could. worship ministry. Hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Well, I don't know. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, but but in, in general, like that. Back to your point. To keep us <laughs> somewhat doing a good on, job the, on the track. Today. Thank yeah. you. You know that's that's kind of how that's our that's in our DNA. Yeah. Our ministry is right. not for us right. as yes. a church. It's it's us partnering together to to provide ministry in various ways, and some of those are more structured, and more formal, and some of those are informal, and it's all beautiful. And you know, we we formally partner with with missionaries um, globally and locally. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're not limited to that. And so, yeah. you know, we, after this last Sunday, we had people say, like, I, I'd love to get involved. How can I help? Right. And there's ob- ob- obviously opportunities for that. Yeah. But then some people will say, like, that's great. That's just not my thing. Sure. Great. There's what is your thing? Like, yeah. w- like, so right. go, go find your passion. It doesn't have to be, you know, this ministry or that mm-hmm. ministry. And, and, you know, it, it's all important. It's just go find that thing that you're passionate about, the thing, you know, whether it's something already established or just something that you want to get created or get started or go kind of mm-hmm. doing on your own or, or with a, you know, with a group of people, um, right. just just go. It's kind of, it was kind of the message of this weekend. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, that's like you and I talk about this all the time. Our job is not like worship or missions or you know executive roles. It's to build up and equip yeah. the saints to do the work of the ministry, whatever that looks like for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So. And sometimes that means if you don't know, praying and asking the Lord to open your eyes as you go about your day to find mm-hmm. that thing. Right. Or like yeah. I, I want to jump in, I just don't know what right. what the options are. Like come talk to like anybody right. on the staff. For sure. I mean, whether it's our mm-hmm. specific area of focus or just like, hey, here's the the plethora of things that you could get involved with at Northwest or kind of just you know anywhere else for that matter. Mm-hmm. Um, just just to kind of get the creative uses rolling. And for like, sure. Here's oh, what's absolutely. possible. Um, that would I mean we would all love to have that conversation. Those are fun conversations for absolutely. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. I had a conversation with somebody specifically on Sunday that wanted to know where here in the church they could serve. And um, on the website, there is a place, there's a the button at the top under connect, there's a serve button and you click on that. And it's got mm-hmm. all of our ministries here at the church mm-hmm. that are available for you to join. Right. So it's all right there yeah. um, as well if you just need to see within within these walls right. also right. where you can serve. <laughs> Because there's always opportunity well. there. Absolutely, mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. So, cool. What about yeah. this week? What are, what are we seeing? We'll go to the first. Okay, yeah. week. Sorry. Just, no, just no, wait your I'll turn. Just, okay, just wait your turn. turn. Sit down, Jaren. <laughs> what are we doing this week? Uh, so we we'll be opening with Jehovah, uh, Plead the Blood, Worthy, and then Appraise the Name. Okay. And during the 11 o'clock, we've also got a baptism. Uh, two, yeah. two baptisms. Two That's baptisms. Right. Uh, Excellent. So, so it's going to be a good Sunday. Like yeah. This, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Love it. Nice. And then what about for can you? I know Jay. Jay will be here. Jay will be here. But what's going to be happening? So it's going to be a different one again. Um, it's going to be kind of similar to this last weekend, but also different. So there's another uh, ministry that we we kind of we kind of partner with. We're connected with um, called Rashio Christi, um, and it's they're you know nationwide. They're they're it's a campus ministry uh, in, in most places, um, but we are partnering with a group that's specifically out in in Nevada. Um, and they um, they're basically connecting and witnessing to to people that have the, the Mormon background, Mormon Mormon faith, uh, or Mormon upbringing. And so it's it's a very unique conversation. It's a very unique ministry that they do. I'm excited for you to hear more about it. Uh, there's just um, there's so much to know. There's so much to learn. And there's man, God is moving. It's it's awesome. It is so cool. Some of the stories um, that they they uh, talk about, and so uh, as we've gotten to partner with them and connect with them a little bit, it's it's been fun to get to know them, to know um, kind of their 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 background, their philosophy of how they do things, and um, how it very 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 much applies to every single one of us in how we go about um, finding ways to share our own faith in everyday life. Like uh, oh my goodness, the how they how they do ministry and how they train people. Um, it's just for everyone's ears. Like I think we can all benefit from it. So it's gonna be really cool. As I was editing it, it was super cool just to hear. Um, it was one point that I can't remember if it was Matt or Aaron, who, whoever made it. They were just like, people want to talk about this kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, like they have genuine questions, and I think that's such a roadblock for most people. Is like they don't want to hear about Jesus. Right. They don't want like no no no. Everyone's looking for something. Yeah. But it's 
you're looking in the wrong place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be cool. It's it's so so we did a Q and A. Um, you know they're they're not local obviously, and so we did a little bit of it online. We did the Q and A with them. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll we'll have that during the service, but then we'll we'll kind of get a chance on stage to talk about it. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really it's gonna be really. Cool I just I'm excited for you to hear it and listen to it and kind of be challenged um, to think about things and, and maybe ways that you haven't before. Um, I because that's that's what's happened for me. So yep. um, yeah, okay. it's gonna be really cool. All right. mm -hmm. And I would like to point out that you said Nevada and not Nevada. Yeah, isn't which, that what you're supposed to do? Yeah, I think okay. so. But I ha I know people <laughs> that say Nevada, and I, I was wondering if that's how you were gonna say it or not. <laughs> not being from here, yeah. how do you say it? Nevada. Nevada. Okay, Me cool. too. I'm not saying you did it wrong. I'm just saying it was. I heard you say it. And I thought, oh, okay, you said like, it correctly. You're, you're a Midwest boy. Uh, well, so I grew up in the Midwest. I spent like so, ten years in yeah. over ten years in Colorado. So you know, Colorado, Nevada adjacent. Um, and so Colorado or Colorado. Colorado. Say it again. Colorado. It's I don't know. You're kind of in the middle of it. But <laughs> no so so I think what this is. <laughs> so and, and if you're local to here, you'll know this. There's a, a difference between Atlanta and Atlanta. Atlanta. Correct. Because if you're from here, you say Atlanta, even though the, the technical pronunciation is Atlanta. Like if you're from here, you don't mm -hmm. normally say it that way. No, I don't no. know. You're looking at me funny. So mm -hmm. this is, this has not been your experience because you're actually from here. So I am. What do you say? Yeah, Atlanta. See? Atlanta. <laughs> it's just you know. <laughs> That's how you're supposed to say it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so get off my back. I'm so I, I, I was saying you did it right, but it surprised me that you did it right. So I guess I am on your back. This, <laughs> this is like that story the two fish and the like morning boys, the water's great today. Kind of like, I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Real? About the Atlanta thing? Yeah. You never heard That's not real. Yes, it absolutely. No, People say not. Atlanta. Atlanta. Maybe. Now you'll hear. Why would you you'll, do that? Now I, don't, you'll hear. I don't know why they would do it. Though. Because they're, because they're sense. not from here or for, you know, they live in other parts of the country. And so that's, you can look at the spelling, Atlanta uh -huh. is how you would say it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. That's Atlanta. But you said it correct. I just didn't, I was a little surprised that you said it correctly. Because okay. I was, I guess I was expecting Nevada from you. But Words are weird. Wow. So, are. so what we've learned today is Meredith has really low expectations for me. So that's, that's good. I have... <laughs> Very high expectations for you. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So my okay. life is great. <laughs> you can't clear mine. Yeah. So, just kind of uh, you. So I'm gonna hang out with her then. Yes. I mean, yes. Maybe there's something to be learned here. But just keep your expectations low. Yeah. You'll always be pleasantly that's, surprised. That's fair. Please. That's that's fair. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm sorry. I started this. this you did. Yeah, who's picking on who today? This is I great. know. I know. Um, I did want to talk about volunteer appreciation yeah. really yeah, quick. Exactly. So, um, volunteer appreciation is Sunday evening from mm -hmm. 7 to 8. If you know about it, that means you volunteer. If you don't know about it, that probably means you don't volunteer. And I'm sorry, you're not invited. Okay? You're just, you're not invited this time. I know. Oof. I know. We have volunteer appreciation. We want to love on our volunteers that serve here at Northwest. Yeah. Let them know how much we appreciate them. We're going to have some amazing yummy homemade desserts and a huge hot chocolate bar with lots of fun stuff to put in it um, we will have some coffee and water too for those that don't drink hot chocolate <laughs> but why would you not when right. you have all this amazing there. Yeah. things there um we are going to we have we have we're gonna have a gift for everybody and we're gonna play some games jared's working yeah. on our game I'm excited about that Jay's going to sing a song, apparently. Yeah, He's going to play his guitar. Is that public? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It is now. It is. <laughs> well, I've heard him practicing it, and okay. he, it's happening. Yeah. So if you want to hear Jay sing and play the guitar, you should come. <laughs> We've got some, um, just some fun. We're going to give out some prizes. It's We just want to um, love on our volunteers and really show appreciation. So please RSVP for that. If you've received a text message, if you've received an email or a um, a uh, app because there is one an app notification, notification thank you um, <laughs> for it and you haven't RSVP'd please do that um, you will get another text this afternoon that says last chance RSVP so please take advantage of that so we can know how many people are you so many... trying to make sure that I RSVP <laughs> I mean I no I assumed you're coming oh you're coming do you volunteer I mean <laughs> do you have volunteers <laughs> That oh, serve good. on your team, yeah. then you'll be. <laughs> he'll be there. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Yeah, he'll be how, there. How, just out of curiosity, do you know how many are already RSVP? Um, a little over a hundred. Nice. Okay. 
so good. Yes, but, but but that's you, that's not everybody. You by know, any stretch. we have, including the teenagers, we have about two hundred and fifty people here <laughs> at Northwest that volunteer. Okay. That is incredible. Well, I think that just shows you like how I mean, how much is going on and how um, volunteers like this is a volunteer run absolutely community. I mean, yep. just and there's volunteers that I swear they put in more hours than uh -huh. I do, uh -huh. which isn't hard. But I mean, still. <laughs> Like that's I, we, we just I, we truly do have like a, just a dedicated amazing group of volunteers that you know take things and run with it and it's, absolutely like, that's beautiful so yes. like, we just want to celebrate them so absolutely really cool. yeah. yeah so hopefully this is the first year of many that we'll be yeah, able yeah. to do this yes. for our volunteers yeah. for sure so please RSVP all right okay anything else. So. No, I'm just gonna cut his budget now because he's got his own thing on the side. Okay, so. that's I'm right. Gonna, there you go. You know, we'll side hustle. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, sounds good. Put it in mine. Okay. Put it in my just some things the communications around. line, please. <laughs> I'll use it. It'll be great. So. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We hope you're having a wonderful week, and we'll see you on Sunday. See you guys.